Hi, welcome to this video, um, which is for pupils studying OCR 21st century science. Uh, we're looking at unit P5, which is electricity, and this is lesson 8 in the series, and it's all about the different types of resistor. And in this video, we're going to look at fixed resistors, variable resistors, LDRs, and thermistors. So, a fixed resistor is the one you'll be most familiar with, and a fixed resistor has this symbol and it offers surprise surprise a fixed amount of resistance e.g. might be 10 kilo ohms 10,000 ohms and a resistor will always reduce the current in a circuit So if you take the resistor out, the, circuit will, the current will go up. If you put the resistor in, the current will go down. A fixed resistor changes your current by a fixed amount, and nothing can change that. A slight change on that is what we call a variable resistor, or rheostat, which has this symbol. And if you haven't worked it out yet, this is a resistor whose resistance can change. So you can either slide a slider or dial a knob and the resistance will change. So this offers a change of resistance determined by the user. And this kind of thing is used in volume controls, dimmer switches, If you had an electric car, I assume that the uh, the accelerator pedal is a variable resistor to allow more or less current to go to the motor. So if you want to change the current in a variable way, um, then you can use a variable resistor which offers different types of resistance. Normally it does this by passing a current through a coil of wire, of resistance wire, and uh, then having a sliding contact which can move along so if you want most of the wire included you connect it there or you slide it along to there which means only a small amount of the wire is included and this is high resistance wire and the more wire you go through the more resistance there is and therefore the smaller the current there is. Um, the LDR is short for light dependent resistor and it's got the symbol of a resistor with light coming onto it. So LDR, or light dependent resistor. Now this works um, by using something called a semiconductor. And a semiconductor has a variable amount of resistance because you can vary the number of free electrons. Essentially, as light energy falls onto the material, electrons gain enough energy to escape from their atom and become free within the material, which means that the resistance drops uh, because there's more electrons that can carry charge. So this one essentially works by light releases free electrons to conduct. So when it's dark, the resistance is high. So if this is light level, oops, if this is resistance and this is light level, when the light level is low, the resistance is high. When the light level is high, the resistance is much smaller because there are more free electrons. So incoming photons of light give energy to electrons to escape from their atoms. Then those are free to be charge carriers to move around in the circuit. Um, and this characteristic is also needs to be remembered. So it's, it's an inverse proportion relationship. When the, light, when the light gets bigger, the resistance gets smaller and vice versa. A thermistor is another type of changeable resistor. This time it depends on the temperature 
hence the name therm for thermal, thermal resistor or thermistor. So thermistor, uh, it works in exactly the same way in as much as if it's in a warm uh, temperature, then the energy from the heat enables electrons to be um, escaping from their atoms. So these are, if you like, thermally generated free electrons. The warmer it is, the more energy there is, the more electrons can escape from their atoms, therefore the more conducting electrons you've got. So in exactly the same way, um, when it's cold, the resistance is high, and when it's hot, the resistance is low. And so we have this characteristic. Um, so a thermistor might be used essentially to uh, sense the temperature of surroundings, or in any situation where the temperature is important in order to switch something on in a circuit or to change how a circuit works. Um, in the LDR, as it's light dependent, it's often used in cameras to decide whether to turn on the flash. So how does your camera know that the room is dark? Because there's an LDR that senses the amount of light coming through, which can then decide to switch on your flash or not. So anything where uh, you need to change something in the circuit depending on the light levels, then you use an LDR. Another example is those, um, if you have solar lights in your garden that switch on when it becomes dark, how do those lights know when to switch on? They know when to switch on because when it's dark, the LDR changes the resistance of the circuit, that resistance is sensed, and then that causes the light to switch on. Just going back through, variable resistor, one where a person will control the amount of resistance in order to control the current. So for example, in volume control, if you want your music loud, you'd have your resistance set to low, which means you get a bigger current to your speakers, which makes the speakers move more to give you a loud sound. Okay, thanks a lot.